Okay, this is uh, Tales of the Abyss. The intro, anime intro should start pretty soon. It's a pretty good intro, I think. I don't remember in this game ever seeing a mana tree or anything. I've actually only played through this game once, and this is me revisiting it. Uh, I bought it right when it came out, so this will be my first time going back to it in like, I don't know, I think that said 2005, so what, four years? Or three, depending on when this came out. I don't, I don't remember exactly what month it was. ND 2000. In Kim Laska's Not sure what that purple stuff is. Who inherits the power of Lorelei. He will be a boy of royal blood with hair of red. I think it's something similar to the uh, miasma the of the sacred flame. that was in uh, and he will Final Fantasy Kim Crystal Chronicles. To new but I don't know. I, I'm just kind of guessing on that. ND 2002. The one the who would angel seize things. glory shall destroy the island upon which he was born. Supposedly supposed to be the predicting the future. War shall thereafter persist between Kimlaska and Malkuth for a full cycle of the seasons. Then we enter one of the main characters right here. So, the time has come. Kind of confusing. I don't really know what's going on right now. So here we are in Kimlaska, a place that's supposedly supposed to get destroyed by a uh, red haired kid. And what do you know? Red hair. This will be our main character, Luke, with the belly shirt. I really don't understand those. I 
guess it's cool. Kind of an awkward scene of him staring into the sky. I guess he's staring at those angel things that we saw earlier. No idea. Still looking out the window. <laughs> Exciting stuff. And then I get to control for like a few seconds, I guess. Or maybe it's a little longer. I can't remember. I'm, ac I'm actually not playing it right now. I, For some reason, I can't figure out how to record Just it with uh, my voice and the sound coming through. It's either like one takes over priority, like my voice will only play and you won't hear any of the game sounds, so I'm just doing a commentary over this. Talking to the gardener. Not sure if I'll continue doing this. I mean, I'll probably skip a few people and not talk to every single person because, I don't know, RPGs would be kind of a long let's play, so. Dead end right there. I wonder what that maid was doing, I guess, cleaning the bench. It's kind of strange. But I guess benches need to be cleaned too. Another maid just standing there doing nothing. How useful. Thought this was this guy was kind of a douche. Said he would call me young master until I'd like turn twenty or something. Yeah, right there. I guess you're not mature until you're twenty. There's my other two saves. One is a, a clear file, and then the other one I think I went back and started a new game right after I beat it. I didn't get very far, I kind of gave up on it. I was going to try and do all the side quests, but I think I either got tired of this game or something else came out and I got that. But I was probably just burnt out on this game by then. I mean, 66 hours, holy crap, that's that's a long time. I believe that's like actual gameplay, I don't think I ever left that game on overnight or anything. Probably gonna actually start skipping these uh, scenes here. The cut down on time, I mean, these things take forever. I mean, they can like last for almost like the two or three minutes sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but like when I walk into a room, I like run around the perimeter, smash mashing eggs looking for items. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm sure other people do it too, but just kind of a weird habit I have. Because obviously I don't know where everything is. I've only went through this once, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, I accidentally went through the wrong door. I kind of forgot what I was doing. I do that a lot with games. Completely forget where I was going. Then I go back to my room. Looks like this is going to get cut off, this scene here. <laughs> 